Thank you so much for checking out my intuitive numbers reading for each of the 13 astrology signs. I am just going to do this one. It is a left or er, January 11th, 111. Said I'd be back. Um, some things have changed. Well, after that last reading I had, I kind of got, I literally got COVID like three hours afterwards. So I was out for about a week and a half. Um, so my energy level is finally, the last few days, is finally kind of starting to get better. But I was told by my angels that I need to focus on being certified in Reiki right now. So I'm going to be working on that. I've been slowly working on that. Kind of getting getting the information out and stuff and start practicing and stuff. And um, I really enjoy doing these numbers for sure. So I don't want to leave you hanging. I did want to do at least one more, kind of just a general. I mean, I'm not the most popular on Facebook. Get a few views. So I asked my spirits to kind of combine all of that into those who are watching. And we'll kind of go from there. Um, if I feel really pulled to do the 13 astrology signs, I'll be doing that. Um, I just don't want to start something and then leave you guys hanging, you know, um, cause I really do enjoy doing these. Even the last time I did these, what was it? Three weeks ago. I was super pumped up. That's why it was so weird. All of a sudden I just didn't feel good and I went to bed early and woke up with COVID the next morning. So that kind of sucked, but it took me four years to get it. That was the first time I got it. Still kind of dealing with the senses and the smells and all that. So, but since it is, oh, I forgot to put the one, 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 two, four. There we go. Whoop. Now, I just appreciate you guys. And like I said, I still wanted to do with the intuitive numbers where you kind of guess. Um, I just need to get on a better schedule. And I'm really hoping with uh, studying the Reiki and stuff, I do get into a better pattern. My full-time job is just... It's an energy sucker, to be honest with you. <laughs> like, if I could just be rich and be able to focus all my time and effort on the spiritual stuff that I'd like to, I mean, life would be wonderful. But, unfortunately, I'm driving truck, and it takes a long time, and then I got the eight-hour layover, and it's just wears out a body, that's for sure. So I'm pretty proud of myself for trying to stay as balanced as I've been. Because I've been working out and stuff too. Doing the meditation. But now with the Reiki, I've got to incorporate that a little bit more. And a little bit more regular. So just I just appreciate you guys checking this out with these numerologies. That's really great of you. I appreciate you. And I hope that you don't just... Forget about me. I'll be back. Might be back more and then I might be gone for a while. So, just thought I'd throw that out there. Um, yeah, today I'm kind of a little, little off. Just energy wise. Not sure what to say type of thing. Um, but the numbers are definitely still pulling me to do this video, so... I just don't have the energy to do 13 different ones. So I thought I'd kind of give you a, a bigger one here. Explaining my situation. Hopefully you fast forward at all my mumble jumble here. <laughs> but we're going to get into the numbers here. Like I said, this is, this is for all 13 astrology signs. Anyone that's listening, I appreciate you very much. And I hope you guys are having a great 2024. I've got some... Good vibes, good feelings about this year. There might be some pretty traumatic changes. Not just with me, just with the whole world. I mean, yikes, right? But, and, they are feeling good about this one here. So I'll move that. And it's all about listening to the intuition. So we've got the 745... 818, oh, that is definitely a good one. See, 818 plus 2024 is the number 8. 
this year. So we've got seven, eight, three. So we've got some good numbers here. A lot of the intuition, definitely listening to your intuition. Like I said, didn't want to stop doing this, but I have to listen to my intuition and I have to follow my other path here. So sometimes I really feel like I jump from topic to topic. So anyways, I will add these up here. I got 16. Is 11, 18, oh, look at that, 7, 8, 9. Okay, so we've got the 7, 4, 5, 8, 1, 8, 7, 8, 3, and the 7, 8, 9. The 7, 4, 5. I'm feeling that they're, the spirits are kind of saying that you're doing good on the path that you are, but it seems like you might have skipped a step or two, and you kind of have to just back up a little bit and kind of recheck everything that you're doing in life, making sure that you're not skipping steps. Yeah, just for... Make sure you're not skipping steps. Even if it does kind of throw off the balance a little bit, you're going to be more sturdy if you go back and make sure all those steps are done. The 818. Definitely just a lot of growth around whether or not you're listening to your intuition going to be a lot of great things happening but you need to focus on that intuition you need to follow that intuition and plus the 818 plus adds up to eight I mean that's just it's great I like I like the patterns of the numbers 818 yeah and they're you're being supported but they just want to make sure you are listening to your intuition don't listen to the opinions of other people don't live your life to please other people. Even if it doesn't make sense and people get pissed off at you, you do your thing and listen to that intuition. And practice on making sure you're listening to your intuition and not your ego as well. Because sometimes that ego will throw in oh, a few things. But there is definitely a difference in the tone that comes through your body between the intuition and your ego. And with the 783, it seems like it's really kind of balancing you into, or it's pushing you into an, a balance. It's pushing you into a new life where you're going to be able to grow a lot more. And that's with listening to that intuition and making sure you're not stepping over any steps, making sure that you're taking every level and gaining the wisdom and knowledge that you need from all those steps. But that's going to be leading you into... It's like a community, almost like a... It's a comfortable zone. You're going to have all of the... Oh, what do you... Like all the... All the things that you need, all the supplies, all the knowledge, all the wisdom, all the people, everything that's going to help you embrace what is coming up for you. So yeah, they're just reminding you don't step any, skip any steps, and that you need to listen to your intuition. And that that will take you to some security. And you're definitely on the right path. It seems like it's almost coming to a little bit of an end. Like a completion, um, graduation type thing. Where you're going to be leveling up as well too. So. And that is about it that I am seeing. It is just kind of a quick little rundown. I really hope hope I get to come back a little bit more than I'm thinking I might. I might be gone for a little while. 
I need to focus on the Reiki for sure. I need to kind of get my shit in a group too. Like when I started this, everything was going good and then, you know, things get kind of messed around, mixed up and stuff and really did want to try to do this YouTube channel. So I, again, appreciate you guys so much. Um... They're also saying, you know, no, nothing directly with the numbers, but they're just saying for this this year, in general, be strong. Have integrity and be strong. Don't bow down to anybody. You do what you got to do and you listen to that intuition. They always want you to listen to your intuition. Always, always sit there and meditate. Even if it doesn't make sense to other people, you do what you got to do for yourself. So make sure this year you focus on you, you grow, don't skip no steps. Listen to intuition and you will be set to go. And many blessings for this year and I hope to see you guys soon. Like I said, might jump in and out every once in a while, but... For a while, I do need to take a break, so I appreciate you. I keep repeating myself. I'm sorry. It's been a little bit of an off day. I've been up since 3 in the morning, so woohoo! <laughs> Every day, 3 in the morning. Okay. Well, you guys have a great one, and I love you bunches, and I will see you next time. Till then, take care.